the leather jacket is really nice because it's mine. <laughs> but we didn't have a leather jacket, and we decided we we're, we're going to take a cruel pic, uh, pic of you. And and uh, and uh, and he, he said maybe I should borrow your jacket, Rigo. Well, it was quite cold. Cold uh, afternoon when he took it, but but they said okay, and uh, he wanted to pre to have that James Dean look. <laughs> Nice picture, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I think that's really nice. Especially, especially the leather jacket. Yes, that's the best part of the picture, thank you. <laughs> late night in the studio. Very late. Yes, you know, you know, as you might know, uh, Magnum Paul and Morton, they hired the studio for not quite a lot of money. But, but the condition was that uh, they had to use it in the middle of the night. I mean, from late evening until the... Exactly. And as you can see, I think this taken uh, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, he's awake. Almost not. <laughs> yes. Wow! Yeah! That's the way they work when they're together in a studio. Lie. <laughs> That's a lie. But but I uh, asked him to, to, to stick to the girl. Paul was playing the piano, I think. I need to have a pitch just to, to for for maybe maybe some fans in the future sometime will be happy to see the picture. <laughs> Taken in uh, in the same studio. I think it's in the three or the four. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! What do you think about Morton's hair? What, what, what is really the white stuff he has in the hair? That is a strange thing, yes, yes. People are strange. That's the worst, but it might have been in uh, those cases as well. Yes, yes. And, uh, well, what is Paul wearing? Hard to say. Hard to say. In the middle, he, 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 is, uh, he looks quite normal. <laughs> but the other guys, I'm not sure. Well, Jane, then. Yes, yes. I think I'm going to go take two on the side. Wow! <laughs> He's the guy in the middle. <laughs> Man, is saying, what is that guy doing here? <laughs> it's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it was taken by a trespassing passing a person. We're, it's in London, I think it's like the four again. And uh, we're standing there, and I said, I, I need just for myself have a memory for, from, uh, from the trip in London. So it was taken uh, by uh, a person taken by, uh, passing by with my old camera. <laughs> nice pics, oh, is it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow, yes! <laughs> It's taken in, in they lived in, uh, in the street called uh, Glen Rosa Street. Uh, you can see another pic from the, the same area. And, uh, and it's a nice picture, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I don't think I need to fill in the comments. You can just watch it and <laughs> like it. <laughs> yes. Taken by Morton. <laughs> Glen Rosa Street. Quite. Interesting. Yes, yes. There you can see the leather jacket again. <laughs> yes. I think this picture is actually better than the first one. Because now um, the leather jacket is on the right. <laughs> this is a famous picture. You have seen it before. We were sitting in the cab. Uh, we were going out, and, and uh, I looked at their jeans, and I was thinking, <laughs> their mothers would like this. <laughs> so I just took the photo, and I think it's an iconic photo, yeah, yeah. because it's very aha, uh -huh, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very like Harry oh. That's a little later on. Yeah. Nice one, isn't it? Just outside the record company. Still no dice. <laughs> Magnum 22, Paul 23, and Morton is a new one. 
Tot mooi is het. You know the old phone box? It was from the back to hide it. In the store. Nice, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> That's Morty's handwriting. <laughs> and introducing Ringo Bonde, Umbrella. Have you heard the song? Yeah. Interestingly, because uh, two months ago, and the market guy, he, he sent me an email, you know, you should have, you know him? And uh, he, he said, we go, can we just meet, just to take a photo? Uh, I was quite busy at the office, and I said, well, okay, uh, I'm a little bit hurry, but I can meet you. And uh, I was thinking, it's interesting, an American guy, he had some uh, business to do, uh, not far from Oslo, but he wanted to see me, and he was, he said, a richest man. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I should just take with me one of the old richest posters for him. He didn't know. And we met, and we went to uh, the faculty of law, where uh, the pictures were taken, or the poster, and, and uh, the shooter, uh, and, and, and uh, the photos for, for uh, the cover of the, of the, the first album. And, uh, and uh, he was asking me, did you never perform it? Uh -huh. Yes, I did, I said, but, but, uh, but uh, it's, it's a song I think uh, you haven't obviously not heard about that song. Uh, it's a song called Umbrella. We know it's released. No, I said, it's not. I said, yes, it goes like this. How did you know? It's on the deluxe version of Stanley's Rose. I didn't know. I'm the opera singer. Go to the shop, buy the CD, and listen to the opera singer. It's me. So it's, uh, and it was recorded, as you can see, uh, the 11th of, yes, the 9th, 11th of September 84, yes. The birthday party. <laughs> Who did you think made the cake? <laughs> That's correct, it was Morton. That's correct. He's, he's look. he's watching at the cake with some kind of passion. <laughs> It was uh, Max or uh, Paul's birthday party, and what are we drinking? We are on the hot stuff. Yeah. We are on the real hot stuff, yes. <laughs> I can tell you. Who painted the picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who painted the pictures? Well, it's, it was, no, no, it's also coming itself. Huh? There the pictures in the back. Pictures in the back. Oh, the back. oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. Magna. Magna. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, but it was a birthday party and we're talking, well, it's a bit pity maybe that we only should drink uh, milk uh, on the party, so uh, we discussed it and they said, we go, it's a, it's a bar just around the corner, it's a pub just about around the corner and you can buy cans of beer there. And I, uh, they didn't have much money and I got uh, the scholarships from, 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 uh, from the university, university, so I said, okay, I can go there, over there and buy some cans of beer. And I uh, went into the shop and I said, uh, I want to have uh, some cans of beer. And uh, then the barkeeper on, uh, answered, to take a wine? <laughs> he said, to take a wine? To take a wine? I did. He said, to t you want to take a wine? <laughs> but his accent, he had a cock in the I, was, I think I was staying there for hours, I felt. <laughs> And I came back with a cancer of beer and told them, and they laughed. It was really funny. To take a wine? Just take, talk about to take a wine? Okay, so we had to find the beers after the picture was taken. Funny story, isn't it? Next one. Who is the girl in the middle? Paul Yes, yes. Uh, we looked at the apartment for, for Morton and I joined them. And uh, yes, it was not only Morton. Look, he's so young at the picture. And, and, and uh, the one in the middle is. Who? Bunty? Yes! Yes, Bunty.
This is from a uh, recording of uh, the Scandal Base album, 87. Uh, Morton was a little bit bored because he didn't have a role, so he, he wanted to, 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 to uh, just fill in, I'm here too. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Two other guys. Is that Jerry? Magnus. It's Jerry and yes. Jerry. The other guys? Was it they? Yeah. The two first bodyguards. <laughs> yes, yes. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. This is taken in uh, 1987 on the on the on the on the European tour, south of France. Oyster, he was playing drums at that tour. Percussion. Percussion. Mm -hmm. Yes. 